All right, we're going to get started with a single Z-sphere. And we're going to build just like a little torso. Not not all the way, just an upper torso. And I'm going to go over a couple things that will kind of show you how to do anatomy without really knowing anatomy, okay? And I'm just going to turn on frame here. I'm going to make something kind of odd. I'm going to make something like... A double-armed monster, double-jointed armed monster. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty wild. That'll be hard. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and this is what I want you to do, is something, make something really quick. Something goofy like this. And then we're going to go down to the adaptive skin properties and make sure it's on 2 and say make adaptive skin. So the deal is, now I have this, I have it as a skin, and I can lower it down. Okay, so obviously this is a fictional creature, okay? Um, it would have some kind of anatomy, and what we have to do is kind of develop that anatomy. All right, so let's take and first go to the Move Tool. And I'm going to go through the stages that I go through with you in the next video but in this lesson it's just something a little compact and easy and I can have an assignment before then okay so what I'm going to do is steal uh, some ideas of um, anatomy from humans I'm going to steal into some anatomy from bugs and some anatomy from other things and the problem with it is uh, having a lesson inside the classroom is going to be really hard because I got students that can draw, students that are artists, students that are non-artists, and um, I had to bring them all onto the same table. I, I like keeping everybody at the same level. So the only way to do that I found is, you know, have some in-between training. All right, so the first rule that I'm going to have is the fact that all muscles have a counter muscle, okay? So, and, and certainly not all all but most muscles in the human body have a counter muscle so one that pulls one that pushes one that contracts and when the other one's contracted the other one is stretched okay so stretching and contracting equals movement all right so first off we'd have to think of how this thing would move um, and I would almost guess that, you know, it would have the same kind of uh, anatomy on the shoulder region than a human would, okay? So, in that case, I can develop some kind of shroud here. And we're going to treat this as, like, there's no rules to this at all. The only rule is you have to make it look good. Functional and good. Now, does it have to be 1,000% functional? Oh, no. Because one, one thing with this lesson is that we don't know the topology or we don't know the, the 
uh, makeup of this creature, but we're the people that are making it up. So the first thing I do is always straighten these, okay? So I do that with the move tool. So all these have to be straight. And the reason for that is um, if this character was to bend and move around using the mask, masking and the transpose tool, uh, the best way to do this is keep it straight. So I'm just going to take a couple seconds and straighten out all this topology, and I'm just doing it via move. Okay. And a lot of times you could just get away with it, just moving it on the front and then automatically kind of move it up on the back. Just like that. Good. And then we're going to make some weird musculature. Something that looks interesting enough to be believable. And I know this is a horrible lesson. I bet there's people just falling out of their chairs right now saying, oh my god, you can't teach anatomy in this way. And you'd be surprised um, how effective it is to make up some... Uh, anatomy when you have no formal anatomy training <laughs> it's fun because you're you're the one that gets to decide all the cool stuff then people all the people have to suffer for it <laughs> all right so we're going to look at this as you know it has to walk forward it has to somehow pivot its legs So if it was to pivot its legs this way, and I'll use a visual. Okay, so it's moving its legs this way. That's how it moves. Okay. Well, that means that the flat spot is technically going to be here because this muscle is right now relaxed and this muscle is contracted, just like a normal bicep. Okay, so let's clear that mask and we'll develop that. We'll develop a bicep, pseudo bicep. So I'm just going to puff that out. And I'm going to drag these down. And we're going to make this area flat in the back. Then I'm going to raise it up on another level. And take the standard brush. So we're going to be using standard a lot for this lesson. We're going to use the add, and we're just going to kind of puff this up, divide it a little bit more, puff it up. Okay, now we got some kind of a bump here, okay? Well, if you take your move tool, package that down, and then fade it up, and fade this one down. And we got a good start. Okay. Now the thing with muscles is you want to cram them together. Um, the reason for this is it it looks nice when you have this really tight fitting muscle up against another muscle, and then you take and blend blend them together to falsify the skin that stretches in between them. Okay, so let's do that. Let's make another muscle. So I'm just bumping this one up. Okay, again, I'm going to take the move tool, and this time I'm going to push it this way. I'm going to push this this way, 
And this one's going to go clear up on the on the shoulder region there. Okay, so now we got two muscles. And then we're going to go into using the pinch brush, which is always lost for me for some reason. There we go. And we're going to make sure that it's got lazy mouse on. And with these two muscles, I just want to kind of go like this a couple times and pinch these muscles together. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's do that again. Let's let's make a muscle for the back. Okay, we got a muscle for the front. So what happens? Well, this one contracts. This one would be lower of this one. Again, I'm bumping that one up, and then I'm going to take the move tool. I'm just sliding that up. And this one's contracted, so or this one's yeah, this this one's stretched right now. And you can use smooth smooth it on up so if this one's or smooth or stretched that means it gets flattened because the skin is taut in that area That also means it would be, you know, this would be somewhere around here it hooks to. Okay. You don't need to know what it looks like on the inside. We, we get to make this stuff up. All right. Let's make some more. Okay, this is a bone. I'm going to flatten that out. Then I'm going to take and move it just a little bit, move it a little bit this way, and smooth it out. Okay, there we go. Now we got some kind of elbow in that area. Okay, another muscle. Do you see a trend here? So let's go into the next video where I can add some more muscles in here. I'm just going to keep doing that, making imaginary muscles that kind of contract and uh, all merge into each other. And we'll have something that looks weird in the end, but something cool.